Oh, hello friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. Thought I would talk a little bit about contributing to Serenity and what's the what's a good way to go about doing that and also what do you need for doing that. And I get a fair fair amount of emails asking me like, hey, saw your project, it's pretty cool. How can I contribute? And I always try to like assess where that person is skill-wise by looking at their GitHub or something if, if, if I get one. Um, but it's always difficult because you, you can, I don't know, it's hard to assess someone's skill in a, in a, like a two-minute perusal of their GitHub, right? I'm sure that hiring managers around the world agree with me. Anyways, so I guess we can start with what, what do you need uh, for contributing to Serenity? And the very first thing that you need is some C++ experience. Uh, Serenity is not a beginner friendly or beginner appropriate project to work on. Uh, it requires experience and some amount of like autonomous skill, I guess, or autonomy skills. You need to be able to work on your own in a foreign code base and like understand how things fit together and you know be able to debug foreign code basically that you didn't write and that's that's the skill that you develop as you get more experienced programming but a first or second year programmer it's certainly not a first year in the second year you might you start like getting some of that skill if you're programming a lot anyway you need some experience that's that's just how it is um, and then the other thing is, in my personal opinion, is that you need um, you need to like Unix and you need to like um, this old school aesthetic, um, this '90s aesthetics, uh, because if you don't like those things, um, <laughs> you're definitely in the wrong project, and you might be a great programmer, but I, I don't I don't. I don't think you should be working on something that you don't like. So that's not the kind of patches that I would like to merge. Resentful ones. Anyways, um, other than experience, autonomy, and uh, general affection for the for the project, I guess, um, or at least the project mindset, um, you should be fine. Uh, so, and I think the best way to go about uh, working on Serenity is to just get the code, build the code, run the code, and then mess around with it for a while, as long as it takes you to um, develop an itch. Uh, and then once you have an itch, whatever it may be, uh, something that just annoys you about Serenity or something that you think, ah, oh, this thing here isn't just right, or this thing could be better, or hey, this thing is missing, right? Just something that itches you, um, and then go and scratch that itch. Um, and any itch scratching is welcome and encouraged, because this whole project is basically, at least it started as me, scratching a huge, huge itch that I've been developing for years about how um, operating systems are not fun anymore. Like computer systems are not fun. Um, Linux used to be super fun in the late 90s, in the early 2000s. It was just so much fun. Uh, and if you were there, I'm sure you remember how things were kind of uh, like rickety, but sort of put together. And uh, it's, it's it still worked, but but you could you could tear at the seams and, and see in between the <laughs> seams. And, and uh, you could pick it apart and put it back together. And it was just so much fun. And you, you, you really, you can't do that as much anymore. And, and it's taken so much of the fun out. And this project is basically, it's many things to me, but, but it is, uh, it is me scratching that itch. Trying to build something that you can pick apart and put back together again. Something that is just really fun. 
um, to work on and hopefully to use. Um, so why am I saying that? Because I would like it for people who work on Serenity to come from a place of scratching their own itches. Uh, because I think that that's how the absolute best stuff is made. Um, if you are doing something because you want it, because you feel strongly about it, then that has the potential to be such good, good stuff. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's how I encourage people to get started. Um, of course, you might not know where you want to get started, and, and there you might just not feel any particular itch at the moment. And don't worry, there's a way for you to get started too. Because I know that it can be kind of overwhelming if you've not done like a lot of system programming or if you've done like very specific programming then it's it's kind of it can be hard to to get into that mindset of like uh holy shit i we control this entire stack here like everything from the putting pixels on the screen to um to like uh, keyboard uh, bindings and and uh widget layouts and whatever like control everything where do i go and fix whatever it is that I can fix, uh, you know? Um, it take, takes some time before you, you get into that mindset. So, if you don't know where to start, but you still know that you want to start somewhere, the um, typical thing I do is I recommend people to go and check out the C library and the user land utilities. Uh, because the C library is just trying to implement basically the POSIX standard C library and the user land utilities are mostly trying to just implement the POSIX user land. Um, so those are like really well-defined projects. I mean, we still want to add extensions for neat stuff outside of what POSIX um, requires, but but you can, you can find lots of things in there like um, I don't know, like currently there's no str to uh, ul, stu rule, st str to ul, uh, string to unsigned long. Uh, I think it's just a wrapper around string to long long. So there's like this just a random thing that if you wanted to, you could just go and implement an str to ul. Um, or there's countless C library functions missing. There's countless um, user land utilities missing, um, and anyone with uh, some amount of uh, like POSIX programming experience um, should be able to implement those type of things if given a spec and some time. And here's your encouragement. I certainly encourage anyone who is interested in writing Unix like user land utilities to go and check out all the missing stuff in Serenity user land. Um, but when it comes to like GUI programming, it's I don't really know how to how to I guess what to suggest to people. So for you, for for those of you who don't know what to do, just, just go check out the user land and the C library. It's full of stuff. And then I'm pretty sure that once you would get comfortable with those type of things, you'll figure out other stuff that you would like to do. Because, you know, by the time you've booted Serenity for 20 times to, to test out your user land utility, probably something is gonna annoy you about the terminal or something else, who knows. And uh, we'll, we'll just uh, work to provoke an itch in you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I guess those are my thoughts on that. Um, you need experience. You need to be a bit autonomous, and uh, please um, scratch your own itch or um, grind yourself against the um, user land and Lipsy until you find your own itch, and then let's take it from there. Um, I guess in, uh, I would also say that when it comes to um... oh shit, I gotta take off here. When it comes to um, uh, opening issues versus pull requests, I certainly uh, prefer that you would open issues about any idea that you have 
that sort of deviates from the um, from the current paradigm that Serenity implements or exists in or whatever. Um, you can do a pull request for anything where you're just clearly improving upon the current paradigm. Um, whether that be by like fixing bugs or adding sort of congruent uh, behaviors or, or um, widgets that look consistent with um, the whole like um, you know late mid to late 90s Windows um, Mac OS aesthetic or whatever but for anything that's outside of that um, please open an issue and then we can talk about it and I'm certainly open to anyone's ideas about things that would be cool in this operating system but I think we should have a conversation before you spend time implementing something that just might not make sense in Serenity so yeah that's it's just uh, just to avoid uh, misunderstandings other than that I uh, certainly encourage everyone to to contribute or if you're interested because I I like to think that the project is very approachable um, and I like to imagine that I'm approachable if you need help um, certainly you can find me on IRC I don't always check it when I'm at work but I'm in there every day and you can email me and um, there are other people on the IRC channel that can also help you and there are if you open up an issue people tend to show up and and, uh, and help out as well so if you if you're interested just come and talk to me or talk to to any of us in the um, in the project and we'll take it from there um, yeah so I hope that answered some some question that you might have had about contributing. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna get back to driving here. So um, everyone have a nice day, and thanks for hanging out with me on the commute. I'll see you guys later.